be a little ways off, but it's not too early to start thinking summer camps. Here now from the Champaign County Forest Preserve District is Youth Programs Manager Stacy Clements. Stacy, welcome. Hi. Okay, so who do you represent at the Forest Preserve? So we actually have educators. I oversee educators at our Museum of the Grand Prairie at Lake of the Woods and educators at the Homer Lake Interpretive Center at Homer Lake Forest Preserve. What is your role as an educator? So my job is to oversee all of the youth programs. So that includes school programs, which we're doing a lot of field trips right now. And then in the summer, our summer camps. And summer will be here soon. And so it is. I know usually parents like to plan in advance because yes. those kind of things do fill up quickly. They do. And registration starts today. So um, so get on it because okay. some of the camps will fill, fill up really quick. Well, yeah, we don't want to be left out. Exactly. So let's talk about some of the camp options that yes. will be available. Yeah, so we actually have two new camps this year. One of them is called Historical Roots and Garden Shoots, which is a collaboration between cultural and natural history so it is on people and the plants and animals around them. Okay. And I have an activity here uh, that is made out of Legos and the kids will actually make their own maze and this is representing the prairie ecosystem. So when people came through this area, it was really hard to walk through the prairie if you've ever seen how tall the grasses get oh, and yeah. how thick together. So they would actually follow through animal paths or traces is what they would call them. And so the kids are gonna make their own maze and then they have themselves, this is them, they enter in and they have to have an exit. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to get to the other side where the water is at. Oh. And so then they make it through and they made it. And so this is just a little activity that can be done before they go outside to experience these traces themselves. Wow, yeah. okay, that's cool. And who doesn't love playing with Legos, right? right? right. Okay, but yes. then making fire is also on yes. one of the uh, itineraries. Another new camp we have is our teen outdoor survival camp just for teens, 12 to 17 year olds. It's gonna be at the Middle Fork River Forest Preserve. And we're gonna teach them survival skills, orienteering, shelter building, but my favorite <laughs> is how to start a fire many different ways. And one of my favorite ways is using flint and steel. So I brought with me three different types of steel. You're actually going to hold them in your hand um, because this is what you're striking Oops, the so rock with. Can I hold with. this one? Sure can. Okay. And here, go ahead and take one of these. You're, this is flint. So when you hit a piece of steel against flint, you're going to create sparks. Now, it sounds easier than it is, but what you need to do is you need to find a piece of flint that has a rough edge on it. And then what you're going to do, and start off slow because you don't want to hit your knuckles, but you're going to go down and hit at an angle. And so create some force Ooh. and you're going to create some sparks. Okay. Now, you would think that that would actually create a fire, but as you can see, nothing's um, lighting on fire. Um, Stacey, I'm struggling. Well, use this. So you're, are you left-handed or right-handed? Oh, I'm right. Right-handed, hold your steel in your right hand. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then go down at an angle like that. Yep, and so you're trying to hit just the edge, so you're just grazing the edge. Easier, I will say, I've been um, doing this for 20 years, so I make it look really easy. I'm but, not gonna survive! <laughs> but see, we'll be together. It's okay, I got you, I got you. <laughs> but the hard part, so we get the sparks, that is not even the hard part. The hard part is how to make those sparks create a fire. Oh my right? God. Okay, what was that game that we would play? I wish right when we were here on the computer, Oregon Trail yes, or whatever. Yes. I would have died. I yeah. would have died on the Oregon Trail. Right. Okay. Well, but this is so fun for them to learn these skills. Exactly. And they're going to be long enough there to create the fire and then be able to cook their food over the fire. Oh my so hopefully goodness. they can make it happen. That is so fun. Yeah. Okay, so these are all on your website. People all on our website. There. If you go to ccfpd.com, Org, right on the front page is a register reserve button. Click on that and you can register for all of these camps. Very good. Yeah. Okay, and I'm sure there's plenty of others for them to explore. So many others. As well. Yep. Okay, well, I'm going to work on my uh, fire making <laughs> skills here. In the meantime, if you want to learn about those summer camp options, we'll be sure to connect you over at our website after today's show, um, CILiving.tv.